what is what? Can you see me? Lady? Is it better? Better? Good? Yeah? Sick! Alright. What's up guys? How the hell are ya? You know who I am. If you don't, Tyler Nolan, welcome to my sneaker. So today, what did I want to do? I had a whole idea and I totally forgot what it was. What did I want to do? Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. So, couple things. Um, oh, huh. First, let's start off with some bad news. Because, yeah, I just want to get it out of the way because I've been really upset about it really. I've been really upset about it recently and haven't told anybody about it. So let me just break the news to you because I'm pretty pissed off about it. So this is my Madagascar Black Blues Wiper, which is dead in a bag, frozen now. Really sucks. This was one of my favorite snakes. I had this snake for eight years. And then it died the other day. Two days ago it died. And it still, still really sucks, man. You've probably seen it in videos before, showing my room. I used to do awesome videos where I would, I would get water right to her and she would come up and she would drink it right from there. Dude, I've had this thing for eight years, man. I was cleaning cages the other day with Alex. Rather, Alex was cleaning cages the other day. I was editing a video and doing some things around the house while he was in here cleaning all the little stuff. I had him go in here. This is the cage that I used to keep the Wagglers in right here. I used to I keep it with an Theris, a, uh, a Squam, okay? So they have been together. Yeah, I know. You're keeping a Wagglers in with a Squam, whatever. It's the same kind of, same humidity levels, same setup really. I know they're two totally different locations, two totally different kinds of snakes. I get it. But they have been together for about three years now, okay? I've never had a problem with them. They both mind their own business. They live in the same cage together. Everything has been totally fine this entire time, okay? Alex, I am very careful with them. I'm the only person that handles my snakes, okay? besides maybe Chandler sometimes and Will or Justin, but like only my really close friends have ever handled my snakes. Now, I have Alex helping me. Alex just started. He's only eight hours in, 10 hours into his training. He's got 800, 900 to go. Alex, I wasn't in here watching him. I was editing on the computer right out there. He was putting both the snakes back into the cage. Something happened. I think maybe the squam bit the waggler eye. And I came in here. He called me in here. He's like, oh, something's happening with the waggler. And I'm sitting here. And, dude, this thing, like, I watched it die for, like, two minutes. Like, it was just, like, mouth was open. Like, it was a pretty dramatic death. And it really sucked. And I was really upset about it for a while. Like... A couple days, dude. Like, it, it bummed me out a lot. Like, I've had this snake for a really long time. It means a lot to me. I love this snake. Beautiful. It was a super mean. It was not tame by any means. But still, still really liked him. He was awesome. Had him for eight years. Never had a problem. I was going to make a video when it happened, when it was fresh, and be like, oh, my snake died, blah, blah, blah. But... Yeah, it's it's whatever. I'm not I'm not that you. I, I know I see YouTubers all the time. Like one of their animals die, and they post a video about it, and it's like this big dramatic thing. And even a few people like cry on camera and stuff. And it's whatever, dude. 
I'm not a So, I just want to include it in this video so that way you guys don't ask about it. Be like, oh, where'd your Wagglers go? Well, here it is now in the freezer. This guy that I met at Jay Eaton's opening party for his new shop, which he's actually got rid of already, um, I met this guy that does skeleton rearticulation. So I'm gonna send it to him and have him rearticulate the skeleton on a nice piece of branch, put it in a little display box. That way I'll still be able to keep the snake forever even though he's not alive. A lot of people ask me about my taxidermy. Oh, why do you love animals and have taxidermy? Because I can still just, look, this is the most low maintenance rattlesnake that I got. Sick, right? Still badass looking. Still has a rattle, still has teeth, still looks super cool, but guess what? I don't have to feed this thing. He just sits right here. Look at that. Low maintenance. He doesn't even try to bite me when I pet his mouth like that. I can pet his fangs. He doesn't do nothing. So, boom. Let me go put this guy back in my freezer. Now to what we came here for. To look at the baby black and white. Let's do this. I think they're over here. Is this one? Let's see. Let's see what's in here. Is this one maybe? Yes, it is. Whoa. Mm. Wow. They're spitting now. That's crazy. All right. Well, let's do this the safe way. Booyah. Crazy. These guys, when I got them, were way smaller. Well, you want you want protection too? Yeah, you'll be fine with these. But there you go. What the heck? Chandler was messing with it the other day. Oh, of course, Chandler. Blame it on the Chan. Put him on top of this puff adder. Give me some some height. My face is nice and secure. Now, when I first got these guys, they were babies. They were a little timid. They're young, okay? So they act a little different. Now they're growing up, so they're getting a little crazier, okay? And now they're actually spitting. When they were first born, they were not spitting that much. Now, look how much bigger this little guy is. He's so much bigger. How much does color change, too? Look at this little guy. Now he's gonna become whiter eventually. Hey, you. Yeah. They're so cute when they're little. Alright, so see this guy. He's just chilling, just exploring. Hanging out. But they've definitely gotten a lot bigger, right? A lot bigger, yeah. Their colors have changed so much already. Yeah, he's gotten a lot bigger. Pretty cool. Now in the first video, you saw me free handling this little guy. I could probably do it now. He's just a lot more. Now he could definitely get a good bite though. He's not as little as he was. And he's spitting. So now I know those venom glands, even though they're he's fully fully capable of envenomating something when he's a newborn, a new newly hatched snake. But still, now they're really working. Like, you can see on my visor, there's a couple drops of, there's a couple drops of venom on my visor. See that? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. No? Well, there is. So he's definitely, he has spit a little. But, yeah, these guys are awesome. Super chill little cubbies. Cute, man. I love them. Baby cobras are the cutest, I think. 
You're getting big. I'll have to uh, I'll have to go find some like older video on here. You don't even want to. You, you don't even want to be a cobra. You want to be a corn snake. I'm gonna show you how how small they were when I first got them. Cause they're definitely hey, you. definitely hey, getting you. bigger. You oh, you like when I touch you? What I did? I give you pets. I give you pets. Let's check out the other one. This was always. I don't know if you remember in the first video when I first got them. This was the mellow one. This was the one that I was letting crawl through my fingers and doing all that stupid stuff that I don't recommend you do at home. I was doing it. Whatever. Do what I say, not as I do. Very dangerous. All it takes is one bite, man. One bite, you're done. Do not want to risk it. Fed everything the other day. This little Central, Central American rattlesnake, sorry, did not eat. It's in here. Puff adder. Uh, what is this? That's the other cobra. This is the other spitter. All right, so watch. I'm gonna try to get this one to spit. So, I'm gonna take the top off. I'm going to, uh, I'm pretty much gonna open it up right away and then he's gonna go into defense mode. He's gonna be like, oh, what the hell is that? He's gonna spit right in my face, all right? Hopefully. That is the goal. See if we can get a good little, a good little line of venom going down the front here. Let's see. Oh, oh! I think we, I think we just got some. Huh. Oh, let's see, yeah. Put this away. Leave them all over your mask. Let's see. Come over, over here a little bit. Ah, uh, not really too bad. Sorry. Not too bad. There's a couple little drops, a couple little lines. There's another little drop right here. It's really hard to see. Oh, you can see it right here. Where it is? Tiny little bit right here. A little line of it there. There's another line that you can see went down the top of this helmet. Nothing too crazy though. Once they get bigger, they start literally, dude. Sometimes keeping spitters sucks. You'll have a lot of people, a lot of venomous keepers. You'll be like, oh, do you keep spitters? A lot of them will be like, oh no, yeah, I love cobras. I don't keep any spitters. They're a pain in the ass. They are a pain in the ass because. Pretty much you just have to clean their glass all the time, you know what I mean? Like I've had I've had some red spitters that didn't spit at all. I've had red spitters that all they did, they would just, as soon as you walked into that room, like this rattlesnake, thank God he's not rattling right now because it's super annoying when I'm trying to film in here and all you hear is in the background over my voice. Sucks. But spitters, other way. But as soon as you walk into the room, instead of rattling, they just start soaking the glass. So literally you'll have just like, a cage you can't even see through it because it's just venom all over the glass. We used to actually make people at underground uh, when whenever we did venomous classes we would like we would do like an initiation thing and if it was like your first time like doing venomous and stuff like after you learned a little bit and you started working with snakes we would actually make people lick we would see if they would lick the glass and lick the venom off the glass. It's gross it tastes terrible and it's very tingly but it can't do anything to you. It just, just feels weird. It's got to spit in your eyes. Or spit on like an open cut or something like that, you know? You're trying. He's trying. He's just not, he's not very successful. So this is the stripe. He's way more, so he is way more feisty than the other one. <laughs> They're pretty cool. They're getting a lot bigger. This guy is going to look really cool when he's older. Got that big old stripe. Pretty sure both of these 
pretty sure I got both of them as females. So that way down the road, all I got to do is try to find like a male or something for them. But they're awesome. What, what do you want to do? Pretty cool. Cool little death ropes. Little danger needles. Little psychos. So that's it. Just wanted to do a little video on these guys. Actually, I got to clean out a couple cages too. Mainly just wanted to do a little update on these guys for you. Everybody's always like, oh, hey, how are your big black and white spinners doing? Now you know. They're getting bigger. Batter. Fresher. Ash Dan. I got Justin coming over here. He's going to be here in a couple of hours. If you haven't, Go follow Justin's new YouTube. He's got a couple videos up now. I'll put the link at the bottom for you. Go over to his channel and subscribe. He's got over 5,000 followers already, or 5,000 subscribers. Awesome. So yeah, make sure you go over and do that. My Indigo, this thing's getting big. This thing bit, bit Alex the other day, so he's gonna... Alex has to pump the brakes with his Venomous because uh, he got bit by the Indigo. The whole point of having Alex work with this snake first because you need to, if you are thinking about training for Venomous or getting your hours, go buy a Kribo, go get an Indigo, go get some sort of big, mean Colubrid, take it in and out of the cage a million times, don't get bit by it. That's the best training that you could possibly do. Go get a, go get a mean ass black racer and don't get bit. That's the game. That's all you gotta do, Just don't get bit. Let's clean some cages real quick. So Justin's gonna be here in a little bit. We're gonna, we have to medicate the Gaboon Vipers. I'm gonna do a little update video next for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Right now, let's clean some cages. This thing, Psychopath. I wonder how these guys are doing. This is, uh, let's do a little update too. I won't clean the cages on video for you guys. It's super boring. These guys I put together um, a couple weeks ago, probably a few weeks ago now, I'm trying to breed them because Kilo stopped eating. Kilo stopped eating a few weeks ago because he's getting in breeding mode. That's the female. She's super hyper right now. Kilo is still super mellow. He's awesome. He still has really good weight to him. So pretty. He's still real pretty. He still doesn't know he's a cobra. He's awesome. Like he's he's definitely become like one of my favorite snakes, man. He's just so chill. He just doesn't care at all. He's just like a big old corn snake. Just let you pet him, get to touch him. He just doesn't care. You're so cool, Kilo. You're like a big fat corn snake. You're just a big baby. He's awesome. He doesn't even really hood up anymore. Like when I got him, he was hooding up and he was kind of being crazy. But that's because I was like, I was making him hood up and I was, I was trying to piss him off, you know. Now. You know, I don't really try to, I don't really try to get him to hood up or get him to like show off anymore. So he's just, he's just on the chill side. Right? You need to eat too. Soon. Got to start banging your girlfriend so you get your appetite back. All right. You big boy. He's just a, he's a puppy. My little baby. Yeesh. So even if I like scratch his head, like he doesn't even like normally like when you touch a cobra's head, they hood up, you know? He him I could just literally just pet his head just like that. Doesn't even care at all. It's crazy. This is such a well-mannered snake. 
You're awesome. I'm gonna put you back in your cage. Put your girlfriend. She's me. Like she'll come flying out the cage at me. Like her literally. Her head was just right out here. Huh? Her head was just right out here. She's right here. Yeah, she's crazy. She's straight up flying at it right out the cage. Mouth open and everything. No bueno. You jerk. She's real pretty though. Pretty sure Will Nace, um, Will Nace still has a couple pretty big monocles that are from her, actually. That I bred, shit, five years ago. Four years ago. These little rattlesnakes are doing good. These guys are getting bigger. This rattlesnake is so freaking mean. You really are getting so much bigger. Watch, he's gonna strike out far. He's getting way bigger. Surprised he hasn't struck yet. No way. There he goes. Normally, I was gonna say, this snake is striking like crazy all the time. That's crazy. Striker. Gnarly. But look how big this thing's getting. When I got this rattlesnake, dude, it was this big. Little tiny baby. Live birth. Fun fact, rattlesnakes don't lay eggs. It is a live birth animal. Which is cool. Easy to breed. You don't have to worry about incubating eggs like cobras and stuff. They just poop out a whole bunch of babies. It's awesome. Big old sack. It's one of my favorite things too. Once your rattlesnake gives birth, you can actually grab the sack of babies and pick them up and just hold all the baby rattlesnakes for a few minutes before before they start squirming around and biting and stuff. You got a couple got a little uh, couple minutes of a window to do whatever you want with them. It's pretty cool. Alright, back in your cage, man. That's the one that has the broken rattle. Mm -hmm. He's only got one little button right now. Slowly but surely growing back. editing it right here working on it right now I totally forgot to make an outro so bonus footage outro same same but different not really whatever hope everybody had a great Halloween we had a blast I'm candied out had a stomach ache all morning taking care of the animals thanks that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video those spitters are getting bigger right Pretty cool. Um, we're gonna have this posted later today. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. It's the weekend. Woo! Weekend. Peace. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.